and welcome back to our Gen Con coverage, Gen Con 2015. I'm here with Benj Hamilton of 42 Games. Hey. How's it going? It's going great. So you've been doing a lot of uh, play testing and uh, getting some analysis here from uh, some play testers. So how's that going? Oh, and for what game is it for? Oh, it, it's going great. So um, one of the games that we're working on right now is called Wizards vs. Dragons, which is a co-op game where a bunch of people play as a group of wizards who show up at a dragon's lair to steal all stuff and are really upset to find that the dragon's there and wants to eat them. <laughs> so they have to try to fight off the dragon. And it's, it's been going great. We ran uh, um, 12 events and they were completely sold out every single one. Everyone we had, So we had every seat filled. Um, we're collecting feedback because um, we're in the very last stages of play testing. So we're just trying to get those last nuts and bolts tweaked before we launch our Kickstarter. Uh, but it's been amazing. The feedback's been great. Everyone seems to have a good time. It's been, it's been wonderful. Great. Uh, so, like, I, I see that you have these, uh, these pages right here where they can fill in information. So how, how do you use that to make any changes or... Okay, so we fa um, uh, my dad found this site this site called uh, www.playtest.co.uk, which ended up being great because uh, we hadn't developed the sheet specifically for this game. Mm -hmm. um, what this does is it takes an interest survey from the players and then has them rate things numerically. So what I will do is I'm going to create a spreadsheet with all the data. So we have 72 players, so I'm going to take this data and I'm going to organize it by um, the, the feedback based on who's going to like the game anyway, because it's going to, how, how much do you like strategy games? How much do you like role-playing games? And if someone just doesn't like this type of game, their feedback's less useful to me. Right. Because um, basically they wouldn't enjoy it regardless of how good it was. But the people that really like these games and have some serious um, issues with it, it's really great because that helps me tweak and tone the game for those specific users. So this is great hard data that I can look at numbers and say, okay, this is the area that needs yeah. space. So now today is Sunday, so I'm sure you've gotten a lot of uh, those sheets filled out already. Yes. So w what's it looking like? Well, um, a lot of people really like the game. We've had a whole bunch of just tens down the board. Um, there's, uh, uh, since we're still early and we're still um, getting an artist lined up and everything, there's been a lot of like, you know, uh, small things like the design needs to be slightly different or these colors are off. And that's all that's completely normal, really useful stuff for us to know as we go forward with getting right. finalized um, you know, graphic design and stuff. Um, but as far as gameplay goes, mo everyone seems to love it. So the feedback's been, don't change too much. It's really good. <laughs> wow. I mean, that's really good feedback to come back and say, hey, you're doing, you're doing it right. Yeah. So <laughs> just tweak these couple things here and then it's going to be awesome yeah so you also go through and uh, talk about like uh, what they think they should pay for this yeah so we ask them what they feel like it should be this is something we also do with all the local game stores every time i go into game store i say hey there's this game it's got these components it's got this kind of um price it's got this uh this kind of game elements what price point would you sell it at in your store and i like to ask gamers that too because it helps figure out the viability of a game if it costs you know ten dollars to produce and gamers think it's worth 20 bucks you will you'll lose money trying to trying to sell the yeah. game that way because if a store's got to pay less so um that's one of the things we ask what do they feel and that it's been coming back at or above what we were targeting for our msrp so that's been really good too very nice very nice so how many cards does this come with in um uh because I see that you have uh, regular um, poker style cards, yep, and then you have terror size cards. Yeah. So um, since it's the game is wizards versus dragons, we wanted to make the wizards and dragons really big. So um, we designed them to be these larger size. Um, not only because they're big and we can see really cool art, but also because that allows you to dock cards around the sides of the card as you gain equipment so your hat goes on top and your boots go on the side and your weapon right. will go over there and so it fills out like a character sheet does and gets bigger and bigger as the game goes on and the wizard also similarly has cards that dock to it um, the game comes with about 238 regular size cards in, th in four different decks it'll come with at least 12 wizards and at least six dragons and when we kick start it that's one of the opportunities we'll have we can add more wizards we can add more dragons they the all play expansion time yeah. <laughs> Great. So um, now you're able to dock those. Uh, like, what kind of what kind of changes are you going to make? Other than I, I see you have some of the cards here, and you have really nice looking sketches. But uh, 
how are those going to be like filled out and finalized? Do you have any of idea of what you want to do with that? Oh, totally. So these sketches were concept art that were specifically done for this game, and the goal was we wanted to work with an artist um, so that they could do the sketches, but we also want to pay our artists. So part of the Kickstarter will be getting the money necessary to get the full color art done, and then we hand off the money, then we own the images, and that that's how it worked because we don't believe that exposures like how you pay artists. You should pay them for the work right. they're doing. Um, and p players need to see it, so we want someone that can do some sketches. We can show people what it's going to look like. We want the Kickstarter. That's going to be part of the thing that we're explaining that we're asking money for is to get the couple of grand that it's going to cost to get really good art done for this game. Okay, great. Now, how can uh, we find out more about this uh, online? Well, um, we post a lot to our Facebook page, which is uh, 42 Games, 42 Games. Um, and then we've been doing a lot more on our website as well, which is 42Games, spelled out, dot com. Um, both of those places are great places to get information. Um, we're also, we also tweet on for, at 42Games on Twitter. So any of those places you can get more information about this. And we're starting to get more into the social media. I tend to be a game design -y person and live in my own little world, but I'm trying <laughs> to, to push out a little bit. Yeah, no, no, I, I totally get that. Uh, we have to do that with uh, Pinchy Games. We have to do that with uh, Geek Out SA. So, but, uh, no, thanks for uh, showing us what you have here and uh, giving us a little scoop on uh, what game designers do when they're trying to play test a game here at Gen Con. Thank but, you very uh, much. I'm Vince. This is Benj. Geek Out SA.